Hey, it's Joel Walsman with Jefferson Electric. I'm up here in Dowagiac, Michigan on a project. And let me tell you what, this setting is beautiful. Can you hear those birds? This video is brought to you by Jackery. <laughs> so nice. I'm gonna do selfie cam since I'm all by myself. We got surprised two weeks ago by the inspector. He rolled up and said, no, 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 fellas. Every apprentice, every journeyman, every master has to be licensed and registered with the state of Michigan. I'm the only license holder. So I get to knock out this project all by myself. <laughs> it's a, gonna be a bit of a chore. It'll take me all week, but the setting here is absolutely gorgeous. I could ask for nothing better. It's relaxing. I've not seen or heard a single moving car since I've arrived and spring has sprung here in Michigan. It's beautiful. Our customers hospitable, super nice and gentle soul. Love working with people like that. And I couldn't be more thankful for the job and kind of work that I get to do. It's a full truck. I'm pretty, pretty packed out here, but uh, I did bring a friend with me. Not that, that's a friend, that's, but not that. Look at that, that's a mess. Come on, this is not my typical work truck. There it is, there it is. My family and I will be camping out all week long. Primitive tent camping. That guy is gonna help see us through. Check it out. Now let's take a look inside the box. DC cables, AC cables. I love the fact that they're bright orange, less likely to lose, trip over, misplace. Oh, carrying handle. This is a two kilowatt hour battery. It's a behemoth. I'm gonna use it, put it to test, to the test all week long. Starting with charging my cell phone and AirPods. It's only at 30% charge now, so I'm going to connect it to one of these solar panels. So check this out. This is nice. Charging your Jackery Explorer 2000 Plus. When AC wall charging and solar charging are turned on at the same time, the product will give priority to solar charging, and both methods will be used to charge the battery at the maximum permissible rate. Also, I noticed that this is not technically a high priority UPS uninterruptible power supply because it does have a 20 millisecond cut over time. Now, unless you have a data server, that's probably adequate. <laughs> that's really fast. I'm charging up my headlamp. Yeah, for tonight, once it gets dark, um, Jackery has a really informative display with a ton of information that populates even more so than that on off buttons for the AC and DC power supplies. Total unit on off button, 12 volt, not 24 volt vehicle charging. But I wanna illuminate a couple of things. Jackery comes with the ability to expand. Check out on the backside here, that's right. DC power expansion port. You can add five 2000 watt hour batteries for a total of over 12,000 watt hours. That's crazy. AC expansion port, overload reset, charge port, and the DC inputs. So take a look at that. Comes with a right angle or straight connector, whichever you need. It's pretty nice. Pop that out. And then this bright orange cable, some nice little zips. Keep it tidy. Who doesn't like keeping it tidy? A little Jackery input here. That's a single directional input. Kickstands on the back side. This is a 200 watt hour panel. And it's got this nifty little gauge up here. Check this out. So right now, you'll see the shade from the black dot falls off the bullseye. So what I've got to do is adjust my solar panel to perpendicular to optimize. Come on. 
optimize my solar gain. Boom. Bullseye. Jackery has all the standard protections built in. Over current, over voltage, over temperature, under temperature, etc., etc. In addition, Jackery recommends that neither the battery nor the solar panels get wet in order to extend their life. Three year warranty seems pretty solid, but we'll put it to the test this week. I can almost guarantee you we'll have a kid jumping on it before the week is over. Well, I'm getting warm. And one thing I did is I adjusted my solar panels so that they were having a perpendicular angle of incidence with the sun because it's moved across the sky. And I boosted my production from 119 watts to 185 worth it 116 fasteners 47 modules it was 407 when i started it is now 707 all on a day's work and it's time to go pitch a camp load it up time to head out you know the family's here because the scooters are here Woohoo! it's camp setup time the tent is pitched i'm heading back from the bathrooms gonna hit the sack the most physical part of the job was today it's knocked out which is why i look all hey i love you guys love you all i'll see you tomorrow well this is where i'm going to spend most of the day today i've got all the wire management to do underneath this ground mount array you can see it's sunny now but got driven off by a storm earlier so i planted over at the diner and had some very mediocre coffee and some decent french toast last night was a bad night's sleep until midnight one of my neighbors was working with a drill a driver and a saw on a project until midnight. Yes, you heard correctly. And then there's camping. So you're like, you know, wake every 15 minutes to roll over and get off your sore shoulder or hip. But right now, just chilling with the bugs and the rainwater. Back to work. Can you hear that? The birds are singing, but the thunder is almost continuous right now. Just keeps going. And going, you can see it rolling in across that lake. I've been forced into the truck again. Uh, it looks like it's about to break, break loose. Here it comes, slowly. Yep, there it is. I don't have anywhere to go, but it is now hailing. You can see that coming down, it's pea-sized hail. Received a tornado warning, take cover immediately noticed. So it's been on my bucket list to see a tornado in my life. And today could be the day. It's shaping up nice, very promising. The size of hail is increasing a little bit. Well, it's flooded. There's water everywhere. Well, after the storm, you sure get to enjoy the beauty. The Jackery Explorer 2000 Plus is putting out 1,488 watts to recharge two Apple devices and make coffee. Thanks, Jackery. Well, it's eight o'clock on Wednesday morning, and as you can see, things are flooded from the rain last night. We're gonna get some breakfast and kind of make our way to the job site. Kids and wifey are gonna go play at the, uh, the Warren Dunes, get some homework done at the library. Should be a nice day. Beautiful sunshine. I'm now here at the barn. The guys have done a nice job. Take a look at that. I've got a whole ton of PV wire coming from the array that I'm gonna slip through these three conduits. One, two, three. That will then go to the DC side of inverters. One, two, and three. Those are solar edge inverters. HD Wave Solar Edge owns most of the residential market in the United States. They are boss. And then I've got the AC side to make connections on here. A bunch of Polaris lugs. Yep, plenty of work left to do. Will not finish today. Well, this brings us to the conclusion of day three. I'm gonna sit down in my truck, connect to the internet, and write an offer letter for my newest team member, an A player. Eric, excited to have you. And uh, then head out to the campground. The family said they're a little sketched about the water, so I'm gonna stop, get several gallons of water on my way home. I should be settled down and eating dinner before 8 p.m. It's now Thursday morning. The rain continues, but at least we have each other. Well, we're using Jackery here for our multi-cord splitter. Charge was getting low, so I plugged it in. It's charging, and as you can see from the display, we are inputting 544 watts 
and simultaneously outputting 140 watts. Simultaneously, so we've got some AC ports active, one for the crock pot, and some DC ports. So it is, uh, we're really running off shore power, but it's an effective multi-cord splitter so we can keep all the gadgets running. Now this is gonna give you a run for your money if you're not a licensed electrician. This is what happens here. The solar input comes from the barn up into this conduit. Both of those circuits are landed. Those are two pole 60 amp circuits based upon the inverter output. You can see the wire is much larger. It's one gauge aluminum. That's for conductor bundling in that two inch conduit and voltage drop over the extreme distance. That's where we were over there, side of the barn. Now, what we've got here is neutrals and grounds are separated because this is not the first means of disconnect. The 200 amp output comes out the top through the nipple into this 200 amp lockable throw disconnect. That's required by most utilities so that they can turn off distributed generation resources like solar. Solar comes in the load side. Now you might be arguing, wait, 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 but isn't the energy flowing this way? Well, yeah, but the utility is always, always line side. So neutrals and grounds are still separated. Need a ground bar. That ground shouldn't be there. Separate ground bar required. Okay, I'm gonna have to make a correction there. Coming across the top, now we're spliced into with these bear claws spliced into the main service conductors coming from the meter. So meter flows right in here, full rod aluminum, boom, spliced, spliced, and here's our neutral. This is first means of disconnect. So grounds you can see are bonded through that green conductor to the neutral bar, which is otherwise floating apart from that bonding jumper. And that is a Generac 200 amp automatic ATS. So there's your tower of power, folks. Well, the job is done. It's been handed off to the customer. We're pending inspections and the bi-directional meter from the utility company with final PTO, permission to operate. We are at Warren Dune State Park, having a good time. If you've never seen the Eastern shore of Lake Michigan, that my friends, is what it looks like. And last thing is, don't forget to subscribe to Electric Pro Academy for real skills to make real money.